is he's going to force people to do his bidding. That's what he said. I'm with this. I'm going to be good on day one because that's really what's at stake. You worried that it you is. can't pay your bill? Wait till he, the other guy becomes president, and you won't have to worry about it because you'll be in some camp somewhere. Because that's his promise. As my first order of business, I hereby declare martial law. What is good, YouTube family? Y'all already know who it is. We back with the Black Anomaly Rising channel. Man, it is time to react to another episode of the Cackling Hens Trump Derangement. It's going off the charts, ladies and gentlemen. So these folks at The View have literally just, I guess, made it a huge grift about like just pretending to be Trump deranged. I don't know if they're actually this Trump deranged or not, but they definitely, they definitely put on a good show. I'll put it that way because... They are constantly going off, like, in this clip, it's about to be the most ridiculous stuff you've ever heard, which I think really makes Trump look good, in my opinion, because you see how ridiculous they act. They're talking about Trump putting people in camps and all kinds of ridiculous stuff. And in addition to that, Whoopi Goldberg, like, literally belittles herself over here begging Liz Cheney, a conservative Republican who's some sort of weird, never-Trumper for some reason, to run for office, even though, you know, a lot of... Like, Liz Cheney is essentially like an establishment conservative. So, these people have historically literally been the problem in America. Like, similar to George Bush and Dick Cheney. But instead, you just want to put... Get uh, Liz Cheney instead. It doesn't make any sense. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. For me, is that people's faith in the country is waning. Yes. That's the yes. that's the thing that's yes. pissing me off. Because in fact why should the faith in the country not be waning when there's a bunch of indictments against the former president, uh absurd civil case, which I'm gonna make another video about talking about that, that doesn't make any sense as it relates to the law and how real estate works. Uh you got them taking him off the ballot. Of course we'd lose faith in the nation. In addition to that it makes me lose faith in y'all clowns as well. I actually used to think that some of the stuff they talked about made sense back when I didn't know what the heck was going on in this country. But now that I do, I know that they're just a bunch of nitwits. And Joe Biden ran the way he did. There's a reason he's running for democracy now, because that's really what's at stake. You worried that you can't pay your bill? Wait till he, the other guy becomes president, and you won't have to worry about it because you'll be in some camp somewhere. Because that's his promise. His <laughs> promise to us. Camps. Told y'all. They concerned that Trump's going to put us in camps. So it, one thing I don't get about when people say stuff like this, Trump was president. People forget Trump was president for four years. And none of the stuff that they claimed was going to happen the first time, because they said stuff like this the first time before he got elected, when it was Trump versus Hillary, they said he was going to put people in camps and all of this ridiculous stuff. Of course, none of that stuff ever happened. And everything, for the most part, was good. It's just that people's reactions to things that Trump would say would really make things really crazy. But besides that, everything was fine, especially economically. But, you know, who did put people in camps? The Australians during COVID. This brazen dinner time escape by a 33 year old Victorian woman from the Howard Springs Center astounded everyone inside. So everybody started filming it. We're like, oh my God, jailbreak. She threw her luggage over and then easily cleared the fence. The second she jumped over, we all freaked out because uh, we, we just wanted to call, like, to let the wellness people know, let the police know. In response to their triple zero calls, she was picked up by the police within 15 minutes and fined $5,000. Right, they took full advantage of that situation. And essentially, the far leftists became complete dictators and authoritarians. And now they're trying to basically pawn that energy off to Trump, who has literally never demonstrated anything like this. This guy is always going on and on about freedom. And the Democrats are literally making fun of of uh, independents and conservatives for agreeing with Trump about freedom, such as freedom of speech, which Democrats, again, want to shut down, right? Like freedom of the press and having uh, s just smaller news. Like if it was up to these people, people like me wouldn't even be allowed to exist. 
We'd be allowed to talk to our friends, our mom, whoever, but not to y'all. And then you try to call uh, Trump the authoritarian, say he wants to put people in camps. It's just laughable. Is he's going to force people to do his bidding. That's what he said. I'm with this. I'm going to be good on day one, and I'm going to turn into this did, other person. Is it, did, did y'all hear that? Play the clip. You are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border, and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. That's not retribution. I got I'm going to be... I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. I don't think that's what he said. Let's keep going. Up to you. This is all up to you. We can sit up here till we're green in the face. But this really comes down to the people. What is the country you want? Do you want the country that you kind of thought you had, where we all get to say what we think and we don't have to be afraid of being American? Wait a minute. Where can you do that? You, could, you couldn't do that on uh, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. And hell, I think even on TikTok, even today, you can't do that. Only place, and definitely not Twitter before Elon Musk purchased it. And y'all talked about how it's, this a hate speech platform now. So what are you talking about? You can just say anything. Like, we're talking about a day and age where you get canceled for the wrong pronoun. Even if you do it on accident. If y'all had the audacity, now you're talking about not being able to say what you want to say? Like, what the hell? The audacity, Whoopi. You got a lot of audacity. Don't think just because you played in the original color purple, you got some clout now. Now everybody got to listen to what you're talking about because you don't know what the heck you're talking about, Whoopi. And believing that, yeah, there will be people who come in and some will get in quick. And some will take a different route, but they're coming here for a reason, because they're living in a place that's not good for their families. If you're okay with that, <laughs> you understand that, then fight for us to find a better way to make immigration work. It's not okay to just say, well, my situation kind of sucks, so I'm just enter the nation, another country illegally. Imagine if, like, because there's people here. Okay, take... A bunch of impoverished black people. There's plenty of them around the nation, right? So imagine you just take, I don't know, just any black family. They just up and uh, they just up and just, I don't know, go to South Africa. Or they just up and go to South America. Uh, no, no passport, no paperwork. They just show up like, hello, my life sucked in America. I was broke because of the Democrats. So I'm here to come into your country. They'll be like, hell no. Did you apply? To, did you fill out any paperwork? You know, did you bring your your vaccination card? Did you do anything? What's your name? You you could just make up a fake name, a fake identity. They don't know you from a serial killer. They don't. They, nobody knows. This should be self explanatory. It's like these people don't think. Let me roll this next clip real quick. A whippy humiliating herself have felt for a long time that there's no reason why you can't find somebody smart on the left and somebody smart on the right and put them together and make oh. that the new party. I... Is this going to be the new ticket? <laughs> Cheney Goldberg? Never me. Breaking news. Never me, but I tell you, we, we probably don't agree on a lot of stuff, but we agree on the fact that we have a great deal of respect for the country. Mm -hmm. for our country yeah. and how we want to see it run. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself, and, I, I, and would you ever consider being the conduit to that third party? Because I don't know if, if the Republican Party, as we, as we knew it, will survive this. Because if he ever gets in again, we'll never have any more elections. There will be no more. <laughs> Why does everybody keep saying this? Trump literally left office. When it came time to go, he left. And it transitioned over to, to Joe Biden. Why do people act like this did not happen? I don't understand. I get it's so hard for me. I don't understand how the people's minds work. Because th this is exactly what happened. 
Uh, Trump didn't, he did not agree with the election results. He challenged them legally. He didn't really lose the case. They like threw most of them out. Then when it came time for him to leave, he left. So what the heck is Whoopi talking about? This is like just, it's just nauseating eventually listening to people talk like this because I'm like, what set of facts, what videos did you watch? What phone calls did you hit? It's like, what did you see that I'm not seeing? He will stop it. And, and he's very clear about that. He wants to be dictator for life. I said, no, 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 other than day one. OK. So I wonder, would you ever consider, please, would you please mm -hmm. <laughs> consider being that person? And I don't understand how you find the grace not to be pissed at folks. Oh, I'm you're not. not. Yeah. I'm, you know? I'm you're, pissed. Well, you're, you're mad at them, but you're yeah. not pissed at them. Because if you were pissed at them, you would have given up on them. Yeah. And you haven't. Oh, well. And so, would yeah. you? Look, I, I think that. I'm begging you. Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm on one knee. <laughs> I think. This is. This, so, oh, God. It, it's, it's just embarrassing at this point. It's just embarrassing at this point. Now you over here like begging. Help me. Help me. Somebody to save me. you from, from Trump. <laughs> I, talk about how the mighty have fallen. Like y'all remember Whoopi Goldberg used to be in a lot of movies back in the day. Very famous and popular. And she's still popular. But this, this is pathetic. You should feel ashamed of yourself, Whoopi, because this is far beneath you. You know, a lot of time, one of the things they talk about is white supremacy and how the Republicans just, that's basically how they see them. And I'm like, she's literally a Republican. <laughs> and now you're over here begging another Republican to save you from Donald Trump. All that's going to happen is once, if, if Liz actually seriously, uh, you know, starts campaigning and whatever it is that she plans on doing, all you're going to do is just turn on her too. This just shows you how fake, this has got to be fake. This this cannot be real. Her writers probably told her, hey, do this today. And she probably was like, that seems kind of weird. Eh, whatever. Let's not forget Whoopi Goldberg is an actress. Okay. So when we see all this Trump derangement, maybe it's real, maybe it's not. I don't freaking know anymore, but either way, it is laughable and it turns these people into a joke because we don't have any way to know if they're telling the truth or not about their Trump derangement, if they're just really that loose upstairs or if uh, this is just something that they're just making up because that's what they're being paid to do. There's no way for us to know. So, <laughs> but anyway, guys, look, quick reaction. This is just... Uh, I'm so freaking embarrassed for Whoopi right now. She's going to have to get it together. Trump's going to win. It don't matter. And then they're going to be sitting up there looking stupid, talking about, oh, I don't know how we survived. How did we do it? We're so powerful. We're so strong. I guarantee you that's what these freaking crazy people are going to be saying. We did it. We somehow <laughs> survived Trump. That's what they're going to be saying. Freaking ridiculous. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching Black Anomaly. Rising channel.